Researchers in the UK and Australia did a poll, or actually they did a study to see what the long-term effects of winning the lottery will be. And what they found out of the thousands of people that they uh, researched was that if you win $200,000 or pounds or more than that, you're likely to change your political ideology from liberal to conservative. You're much more likely to all of a sudden be right wing. Okay. Oh, I love this story. Yeah. This is my favorite story today. Okay. Because it shows what knuckleheads we all are. It's not like you say, oh, top 1%. They're, they're bad guys. They're greedy or whatever. It's in human nature, right? That once you get the money, a couple of things happen. One, you immediately become convinced that you earned it. Yes. Even if you won it in a freaking lottery, <laughs> right? And there was that great study that I, I, it was one of the best stories we've covered in a long time. We did it about a month ago where they did give uh, people playing Monopoly an unfair advantage. They give them double the money, et cetera, et cetera. And by halfway through the game or immediately, they start thinking, I'm winning because I'm, I'm the better player. Yeah, they get no, the you ass! You got twice as much money and you got you get the rule of three dice and you get $300 when you pass go. But the guy's literally going around the table like... <laughs> right? He's literally knocking over pretzels, speaking loudly, etc. And they interview him. One of the guys they interviewed afterwards and he's like, uh, yeah, let me tell you about my strategy. Right. They, okay. get, they get like this weird sense of entitlement. Why uh, so did they knock over the pretzels? They, yeah. did, they didn't knock over the pretzels. They were eating the pretzels They literally eat more pretzels than yeah. the guys who did not get the unfair really? advantage. Yeah. Yes. And, and wow. So, so it's amazing. Anyway, so back to the lottery. So one is they immediately think it's because of me. I, I, I got it, right? And then number two, they're like, well, how can I keep more of it? Yeah, right? they don't yeah. want to. They don't want to be taxed heavily. Yeah, and, and even the guys who won didn't win that much. They immediately went, wait, 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 I got hold, hold on now, hold on. This is mine. I'm going to keep it. Right. Right. So the researchers say that the larger the win, the more people were tempted to vote conservative. And uh, one of the researchers also said, humans are creatures of flexible ethics. So while we're not sure exactly what goes on inside people's brains, it seems having money causes people to favor conservative right-wing ideas. Yeah, I mean, this pretty much explains the entire political spectrum, not just in the US, but obviously everywhere, right? UK and, uh, and elsewhere. The guys who have it want to keep it, and they will do whatever it takes to keep it, and including self-delusion into yeah. thinking, well, I deserve it, I work harder than they do, I, I, and, and you know what, this will trickle down to them anyway, etc., and get themselves to believe that there should be lower taxes on the people who have more. Well, the biggest lie that they tell themselves and other people so they can keep living that way is that, uh, and you hear them say it all the time on Fox News, you say, if you're black and poor and if you work hard and study, you'll be able to make a good living in America. So if so, what, that really, what they're really saying is poor blacks are poor because of their own laziness. Because if you're willing to work hard in America, you can make it. And that's the lie these guys tell. They don't talk, they don't look at this, this, the, uh, this chart we just showed about income inequality, they don't, then they always talk about e equality of opportunity, which I know you also talk about, but they talk about it in a little bit of a different way, Jenk, because they don't want to talk about results of an economic system. So they talk about, well, if you're poor and black, you have the opportunity to go to school, and if you work hard, you have the opportunity to get into our economy. But that, but doesn't matter that 98% of them can't, don't do it, and we have the, the, uh, the, the rules are stacked against them, and we have the, all these hurdles for them to get over, and it's not an equal uh, footing for them. And so they're talking about a different kind of equal, uh, equal opportunity than you talk about. And that's what allows, but what about the 1% that aren't like that? Because they're George Soros and uh, you know, Ted Kennedy, right? How, who are these people who can have all that money and still retain their humanity? And by the way, the two guys you named are the ones that are attacked most viciously. Yes. yes. Because they're seen as, as FDR was, as a traitor to their class. Yes. Because they prove what the other guy's saying are, is a lie. Yes. And so that's why they get so mad at the Soros's and the Kennedys. Well, when Soros says, no, 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 we don't have to be greedy. We can actually pay fair taxes, and Warren Buffett says the same thing, and then they get really mad. Oh, then why do you pay? What do yes. you make? I want yes. to keep mine! Right? Yeah. And they get so mad at them. But the reality is, yeah, no, there are some decent people who can get beyond what is a natural impulse, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and so, and they prove that, 
that when they say equality of opportunity, they don't really mean it because what Soros of the world say is, like, like I do, hey, okay, if you really think we should have equality of opportunity, why don't we give those kids in public schools decent funding so they can take their books home, so they yep. can actually get a fair chance at an education? Why don't we give the top 20% of SAT scores, if, if they're poor or they're middle class, whether they're in Logan, West Virginia or in the Bronx, why don't we give them a free education? Wouldn't that be equality of opportunity for guys who already succeed, top 20% of their class, under difficult conditions? Oh, government money, no, 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 don't take my money, don't take my money, right? They don't mean equality of opportunity, it's an excuse. Just like in this study, they use whatever excuse to say, to justify keeping their lottery winnings. You know, every, most stories we do, and you know, I was, uh, and this is comforting to me, I feel good about myself here, because we do stories and I, I feel every time as if I'm like everyone else. Like, I'm constantly, I'm, I, I'm all, every story we do, I realize I'm not exceptional. Like, you know, <laughs> the things I want are what other guys want. The things I like are what other people like. You know, I don't, there's nothing special about me in any way. Not in this case. Like, I know it. I know it to the fiber of my being. I win $18 million tomorrow and another $19 million. I mean, will I go to my accountant and try to keep my tax rate as low as possible? Of course. Will I argue, though, that my tax rate should be higher in order? Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody, and that's, of course, the other fallacy that conservatives go, is that, well, the liberals, they get all their money. They still try to save where they can. Yeah, they're not. They, right. Yeah, yeah. They're going to yeah. play within the rules you give them, but right. they're going to support rules that would cost them more money. Right. Yeah. And besides, which that's not even entirely true either, because unlike Mitt Romney, you're not going to hide your money in the Cayman Islands. No, I'm not going to hide it. No, no, you're going to play within the actual rules. Right. Whereas that's he's right. going to break yeah. the rules and then you know, find a way to get politicians to say, no, it's okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna change the rules a little bit. It's okay for you to keep your money in the Cayman Islands. Go ahead, right? And that's what they did. Yeah, and I may say, oh, Jesus Christ, but I paid $17 million in taxes this year. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, anyway, I have a giant house. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. is there anything, I, I, is, to me, there are a few things that are, I don't know, stomach turning or what, more stomach turning than listen to millionaires complain about how much taxes they're, they're paying. Totally, yeah. That is unbelievable. And they do it all the time. And they do it all the but time. But that said, if Warren Buffett complains about it, like, and, and again, it's, 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 it's the matter of how you complain about it. Mm -hmm. Like saying, <clears throat> I got. I'm, I obviously I do very well because I just paid ninety-seven million dollars. Yes. That's just like okay. That's like I got it. I'll hear that sentence. That's that's amazing that somebody yeah. would pay ninety-seven million dollars in yeah. taxes. But that means you made two hundred eighty-five million even dollars. That, right? Even the guy Crystal Knock, that guy from last week, the saying, he even said I voted for Jerry Brown even though he raised my taxes thirty percent. And now what? You can't get your fiftieth yacht? What the <laughs> fuck do you need? What are you still longing for that you're pissed off that you could have got? Right. With that thirty percent right. tax rate hike, that with first of all you didn't, that didn't happen. But what would you have gotten that you don't yeah. already have, Mister One Hundred and Fifty Million Dollar Yacht? I have to jump in. It reminds me of the story that we did just a week ago. Of that guy who used to work on Wall Street, right? Yes. The young guy who was a millionaire by the time he was twenty-five years old, and he said, "Look, I had to get the." <laughs> fuck out of there because I was addicted to money like I couldn't handle myself and I realized the more you made the more you wanted so I think it is an addiction people it's it's like you know who's <laughs> whose genitals are bigger than the other. Hey, your mom is watching. I don't know why I'm like censoring. Watch your mouth. I don't know yeah, why I'm censoring. Yeah, all of a sudden. She, <laughs> she got a like, I don't think that's where that's no at. No kidding. She, yeah. she almost didn't want to say the F word. Yeah. And now with the genitals. I don't know why I'm like censoring myself today, but it's like, you know, it's, whose oh, dick is bigger. Oh, they're measuring their cocks. That's what you were trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even understand what you were trying to say. <laughs> but like, did I. She's yeah. like, you know, even with the penis, is it bigger or no? I don't know. Wow. But I don't know what's wrong with genitals. Genitals. You're wild. 